If you've been following the National Basketball Association playoffs on TNT, you've seen the technology they use to try to enhance their coverage, make it all clear. Not everyone, however, is a fan. Charles Barkley weighs in as we take you behind the scenes as this total motion is brought to life tonight. That's coming at 7.45, 8.45, and 10.45 Eastern Time. So stay with us as we go behind the scenes with TNT's coverage of the NBA playoffs on our sister network, TNT. Well, we'll have a look at today's latest developments just ahead. And Charles Barkley is going to take a shot at total motion on TNT, but not before we show you how this Emmy Award-winning halftime show puts it all together. Watch that shot. Stay with us for Hot Wire. TNT's Emmy Award-winning NBA halftime show has plenty of bells and whistles at its disposal. One of them is Total Motion. Here's Erica Hill to take a look at how this technology, which is exclusive to Turner Networks, is brought to life. The NBA playoffs on CNN's sister network, TNT. Full of dunks, block shots, steals, and technology. You can't get action like this without the team off the court. What you're seeing is known as TNT Total Motion, and this is the first year it's been used in the NBA playoffs. Neil Pruitt is one of the Total Motion operators. The control room staff chooses the game highlight and camera angle to be shown in Total Motion. Hey, Neil, what about that? And sends it over to Neil. Prior to tip-off, he showed us how it works. The key here is separating the background and the foreground in the shot. I picked three points, ones that we know are going to stay stationary. The background remains the same, as you notice. That's the most important part here. So the background just looks like it's panning regularly with it. You don't see a bunch of blurs in the background, and you see these people frozen in time. So they're just going a little bit, moving a little bit, but Tim Duncan is being the only one separated off the background. Neil renders the clip to differentiate between the two, and then he chooses the shots. Then I will start working to make this pro motion or total motion come to life, uh, circling the parts that I'd like to see again or see frozen. Start to it doesn't always work on the first try. Light flashes can often get in the way of a good clip. Even in the world of NBA excitement, less can be more. There's a lot of experimentation involved, or keeping minimal, sometimes keeping minimal frames is actually the best. The entire process takes just a few minutes, and then it could end up in your living room. You've probably noticed it during the halftime show, and you may have heard one of TNT's most outspoken basketball analysts weigh in on it. A waste of money. But Ernie Johnson told Hotwired he kind of likes it. But I like technology. Unlike these two guys, I like <laughs> new things. I don't want to see games in black and white or kinescope. I like oh, to see the new stuff. Love it or hate it, don't expect this new stuff to disappear. For Hot Wired, I'm Erica Hill. And with the NBA playoffs coming down to the wire, we're going to bring you thoughts from former NBA All-Star Charles Barkley and the rest of the gang over at TNT. What do they think about computers, for example? Maybe he thinks they're a waste of money, too.